Okay, so we're given a continuous random variable w is defined by the probability density function f of w. And so the first thing we're asked to do is to sketch the probability density function. Well, when I'm going to sketch this density function, let me try that again. When I'm going to sketch it, what I want to do is I'm going to sketch this from 0 to 3. And I know it's a parabola, a fairly wide parabola. So it's going to go from 0 to 3. And I'll call this 3. And that's the first part. And then at 3, it's going to be a line with a slope of negative 1 12. And if I plug in 3, this is 9 over 27, which simplifies to uh, one third. Nine over twenty-seven is one third. If I plug in three here, I get four out of twelve is also one third, and so it is continuous. And so I know it's a negative slope, so it's going down like this. My only problem is I want to find what this value here is. In order to find that value, if I let seven over twelve minus w over twelve equal to zero. I can easily see if I bring this over 7 over 12 is equal to w over 12, that w is equal to 7. And so this here is 7. And so this is a sketch of the PDF, probability density function. OK, now we want to find this value of k. Well, I've actually just done that. This value of k has to be 7. All right, so this k is equal to 7 where it ends because this line goes downwards. All right, now we want to find the cumulative distribution function of f of w. We're looking for capital F of w. Well, that means I'm going to start to add up all this area. And I'm going to look at the first part. If I'm going to add up the area up to 3, well, then I'm going to find the integral from 0 to some value x or like, sorry, I'll call it some value w, since we're dealing with w's, of, and this will be the, I'll use a dummy variable, so t squared over 27 dt. When I take the integral of this, I get w, sorry, I get t cubed over 81. And I'm going to take that from 0 to w. I plug my values in, and I get w cubed over 81 minus 0. And so the beginning of my CDF function, f at w, is going to be, it's going to be piecewise. The first part's going to be w cubed over 81. And that's going to go from 0 less than x, or w, sorry, less than or equal to 3. That's the first part. I want to now look at the second part. But I also, in order to find the second part, I have to add on this first area onto the second part. So I need to find out what this area is. And so I'm going to let w equal 3, which will represent this value. And so then I have 3 cubed over 81 which is, indeed, if I simplify that, I get 1 third. And so I know that this particular area here is equal to 1 third. So when I do the second part, which I'll do in purple, when I start to add this area here of the function, where this is some value w, I have to also include 1 third. And so what happens now is I have to find if I'm looking for the second part, I have to take 1 third plus the integral from 3 to w of the second part is 7 twelfths, 7 twelfths minus t over 12 dt. And I come along and I do the integral, I do some calculus on this, I get the 1 third, which is the first area part, plus 7 over 12t minus t squared over 
24 from 3 to W, which equals 1 third plus, now I'll make sure I'm careful here, 7 W over 12 minus W squared over 24, subtract 7 times 3 over 12 minus 9 over 24. If I do my arithmetic here, I end up with negative 25 over 24 plus 7w over 12 minus w squared over 24. Now I did this on scrap paper, but that's what this will simplify to. Um, and so this represents the final piece. So this particular function then will go from negative 25 over 24 plus the 7w over 12 minus w squared over 24. And this, I use this part when I go from 3 to 7. And the 3 part, I one of them only has to be equal to, doesn't matter which one. And so this first part will add up all this blue area up to one third. This part will add up all the purple area, but it's already added one, th so basically do one third, the blue area, one third plus whatever the purple area is up to this value, w. And that is the cumulative distribution function of f of w. Moving along, if I wanna find the expected value, well, if you remember from your formula booklet, this is the expected value of a continuous random variable. And so if I wanna find the expected value of w, switching back to blue, if I wanna find the expected value of w, well, I'm gonna go from zero to three, of w times uh, w cubed, w squared, using the original function, sorry, w squared over 27 dw plus from three to seven of w times the second function, seven over 12 minus w squared over 12dw. Now it's just a matter of integrating this and plugging values in. And the easiest way to do this is throw it in my calculator. And when I do that, I get 3.2364. Before I do put in my calculator, I would make this w cubed. I would simplify this a bit, but just throw it in and end up with that. You have a calculator for the entire paper three, so use it as often as possible. And finally, we're looking for the median of W. Well, if I wanna find the median of W, that means I wanna find somewhere here, there is an M, which stands for medium, where this whole distance here is 0.5, because it's 50%. Well, I've already got one third, and I want 0.5 more. And so if I wanna find this piece here, I know that has to be one sixth because one third plus one sixth is equal to 0 0.5, is equal to one half. And so if I only take this part, I'm gonna go three to some value m to find the median. And so for e part, I'm going to find from z three to m, the median of the linear function mm, over 12 dw, and I want that to equal one sixth. Because I know for sure that this is one third, and so I'm just looking for when is this m value going to be added to one sixth so that the area is, is in total the median of 0.5. So I do my integral calculus now, which then I get seven w over 12, minus 
w squared over 24. And I'm going to do that from 3 to m has to be equal to 1 sixth. If I plug in my m, I get 7m over 12 minus m squared over 24 minus 21 over 12, substituting the 3 in. Minus minus makes it a plus 9 over 24, and that has to equal to 1 sixth. From here, I'm going to use my calculator to solve this, and when I'm all said and done, the median is going to be 3.54. And I can get that from my calculator. Use the calculator to do simple algebra as often as possible. So in doing this piecewise function of the continuous random variable, if we want to find the cumulative distribution function, we do it in parts. We have this part, and then we add its area on to the second part. Expect the value, we use our formula from the text from the formula sheet. And then finally the median, we have to add up to 50%.